Chapter 11 Social Security 11.1 Social Security is primarily a system of protection of individuals who are in need of it from the state. Such protection is relevant in contingency situations like retirement, death, retrenchment, disablement, which are beyond the control of individual members of the society. 11.2 the ILO concept of social security is based on the recognition of the fundamental social right guaranteed by law to all human beings who find themselves unable to work temporarily or permanently for reasons beyond their control. It recognized the right to social security for the first time. Subsequently, the UN General Assembly, while adopting a universal declaration on human rights, also guaranteed that every member of the society has a right to social security. 11.3 India being a welfare state, social security is an essential component of government policy. As per Article 41 of the Constitution of India, the state shall, within the limits of its economic capacity and development, make effective provision for securing the right to work, to education and to public assistance in case of unemployment, old age, sickness and disablement and in other cases of undeserved want. 11.4 Article 28 of the UNCRPD mandates the state to take steps to make the provisions for persons with disabilities. Adequate standard of living for PWDs and their families, including adequate food, clothing and housing. Equal access to clean water services. Access to appropriate and affordable services devices, and other assistance for disability-related needs. Access particularly to women and girls with disabilities and older persons with disabilities to social protection programs and poverty reduction programs. Access to assistance from the state with disability-related expenses, including adequate training, counselling, financial assistance, and respite care. Access to public housing programs. And finally, equal access to retirement benefits and programs. 11.5 Goal 4 of the intern strategy focuses on strengthening of social protection. It specifies that social protection programs should not be limited to regular and formal employment program. It would be crucial to ensure that PWDs have access to social protection on an equal basis with others. The Sustainable Development Goals 2030 aims to eliminate poverty, hunger, and to achieve food security and improved nutrition. Eleven point six. The Persons with Disabilities Equal Opportunity Protection of Rights and Full Participation Act, nineteen ninety five, only provided for insurance schemes for employees with disabilities and unemployment allowance for persons with disabilities who have not been engaged in the RPWD Act 2016 covered a wide range of social security measures for empowerment of persons with disabilities in line with UNCRPD. These inter alia include disability pension, community centers with good living conditions, facilities for PWDs, CWDs, who have no family or are abandoned or are without shelter or livelihood. Support to women with disabilities for livelihood and upbringing of their children. Provision of AIDS and assistive devices, medicine and diagnostic devices and corrective surgeries free of cost. Caregiver allowance. 11.7. The Union Ministry of Rural Development has been implementing National Social Assistance Program, which inter alia provides disability pension to persons with severe disabilities in the age group of 18 to 79 years. 
11.8. The state government union territories on their own have been topping up their contribution towards disability pension provided by the central government. The quantum of disability pension varies from rupees 300 to rupees 3500 from state to state, depending on their economic capacity. Few states are also providing unemployment allowance to persons with disabilities. 11.9 National policy statement outlines the following for ensuring coverage of all persons with disabilities under social security program. Encouraging state governments, union territories to develop appropriate social security policy for persons with disabilities. States, union territories to consider universal coverage of PWBDs under disability pension scheme subject to the economic capacity and development. Covering all persons with disabilities under food security program. Provision of community centers for providing shelters with food and clothing facility to homeless persons with disabilities. Developing a comprehensive insurance program for persons with disabilities for their health and life. Insurance regulatory authority to sensitize the insurance providers for ensuring that PWDs are not discriminated against while seeking insurance coverage. The government may consider provision of higher interest for savings of persons with disabilities. Developing schemes by states, union territories for providing caregiver allowance and other support services for persons with high support needs. Streamlining grant of guardianship as a support mechanism to persons with disabilities. Creating better employment opportunities for persons with disabilities and covering all persons with disabilities in the age group of 18 to 59 years by states, union territories for support in the form of unemployment allowance. Enhancing the coverage of ADIP program in effective manner and developing a mechanism for providing support of repair of such devices 